Can I defend Logan Paul for a minute? It feels like there's like a... I want to say that there's like a concerted effort from the deep state to make sure Logan Paul doesn't become a billionaire. Because we know what he wants to do, right? He wants to make Prime into the number one drink and then he wants to sell it and cash out and become a billionaire. That's always been his kind of dream. Bit of a mad dream to have, but hey, everyone's got dreams. But it feels like every other week, every other month, there's somebody popping out trying to sue him for Prime. And I'm thinking to myself, is this a sign that the deep state only wants certain people to be rich, rich, like billionaire rich? Or is it more of a sign that because he's not complying with people behind the scenes, because technically he's like a YouTuber influencer type of person, and in that scene of being an YouTuber, in that industry, sorry, of being a YouTuber influencer, you don't ever have to like grease anybody's palms. That's not what how business work is run. You don't get fleeced like you do in the music industry. It's just basically you by yourself. You can get yourself paid however much you want to get paid. The content's up to you. There's no one taking money in your pocket. There's no like shifty manager or agent or like system of getting money. You know what I mean? There's it's all kind of all, it's it's all kind of you. So I think I'm trying to think is maybe these YouTubers when they start going into these type of businesses, they have this mindset where everything is for them, but they don't know that in the corporate world. In that business world, to become a billionaire, you don't become a billionaire on your own. You probably can come. You you probably can become a multi-millionaire by yourself, without involving anybody, without greeting anybody's palms, without handing over a hand, handing out a couple of brown envelopes. You could probably do that by yourself. But when it comes to billionaire status, that rare air, I think you do need to hand out a couple of brand envelopes. You do need to key key a little bit. Go to fucking galas and shit. You know laugh at these dumb you know old guy jokes and shit and maybe because logan is refusing to do that and so like doing his own thing these motherfuckers are like coming for him like consistently coming for him because if anybody if any parent if any parent right if every parent if there's any parent out there that honestly thinks or that honestly thought prime was healthy you're a fucking idiot and you deserve your kids to get taken away from you. If you're a parent out there and you honestly thought Prime was a good way to get your kids fucking hydration and get them recharged for the day of school and shit in kindergarten, you need to be locked up. Prime was never healthy. It was never, all you had to do was, was sip Prime once <laughs> to know straight away that that whole like no sugar thing was bullshit. That shit is sugary as hell. That shit is sweet as hell. If it's not sugar, what is it then? <laughs> if it's not sugar inside that shit, what is it then? So all these mums and dads complaining, oh, Prime, it's got these forever chemicals. It's not good for my baby. It's not good for my baby. Well, duh. Give your baby a bottle of water, mate. That'll be better for your baby. Not a bottle of Prime. You can't blame Logan Paul for selling colourful drinks, hyping them up and shit. Having eye show speed, do backflips, big shows. That's what kids want. Loud, colorful shit. But it's never meant to be healthy, motherfucker. Come on, man. Anyway, let's read the article about all the suits happening regarding Logan Paul. Bins Insider. Logan Paul's high prime hydration has been hit with a string of lawsuits. Here are the details and what's up next. So let's hear Wild Guan because I personally think Logan Paul needs to be defended. Not against fucking CoffeeZilla, because what he did against CoffeeZilla was fucking bullshit and scummy, and he's probably going to pay a high price for that. And it's just not good for his like public persona and reputation. Dumb move. But when it comes to Prime, I think he deserves to be defended, because it feels like these billionaire motherfuckers are basically closing the door on him, or holding the door closed for him. Let's see. Logan Paul's energy drink company, Prime Hydration, is involved in a suit of lawsuits. They variously allege breach of conduct, blah, blah, blah. Logan Paul's Prime Hydration, co-founded by a controversial YouTuber and his fellow um, creator turned boxer KSI, is fighting a string of lawsuits. The beverage company was sued this month by a bottler, Refresco, which accused Prime of cutting off its contract and failing to plan or place minimum place order of any bottles once sales tanked. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Agreeing to buy a certain amount of bottles, but then reneging on it because your sales have gone down is very bad practice because you'd imagine again i'm not part of the bottling industry i'm not part of the hydration or drink industry but i would imagine in that particular industry like most industries it's controlled by like three to five companies 
they control the actual functioning of that industry so there's only three or four country three or five com companies that do the bottles that do the labeling the lids whatever it's probably controlled by three or four companies so if you piss those motherfuckers off you could potentially fuck yourself in the long term if you piss any of those people off they could blackball you from the industry completely and there's no one else to pick up the slack for you it continues the fed is represented um to alfresco the sales volume would remain robust and continue to grow over the course of the year following the contract signing however the formerly hot sales of prime drinks cooled markedly wow is that what happens you have to share your sales figures with a company that makes what that business is wild you have to share your sales figures to the bottling company so that they know <coughs> you're not playing around they know you're for real you can't just pay the money and get them to send the bottles shit the complaint claims prime owes refresco nearly 68 million dollars it's a far from only lawsuit prime is facing bins aside accounted eight lawsuits in which prime was a defendant the lawsuits range from accusations of breach of conduct to class action suits that accuse prime mislabeling amount of caffeine in its drinks lawsuits could spell the trouble for prime which is flying high not too long ago after launching in 2022 jesus christ it only launched in 20 honestly logan paul kind of has to look at himself in the mirror and realize that maybe he's the problem this drink only launched in 2022 and look at the amount of drama that's associated with his brand and himself so much ill will against him especially for the coffee zilla thing that he's 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 always gonna look bad in that situation and in this rotted prime became one of the hottest drinks on the market thanks to two stars who knew how to market the product to their devoted fans as well as several limited edition flavors supply surge well ahead of demand leaving shelves bare and causing kids to start playing uh to, to start a playroom black market for the beverage as recently in november the brand is still seemed to be thriving bloomberg reported that the sales were tracked to exceed 1.2 billion yo logan paul's a piece of shit in it You've got a company running at the moment outside of all the stuff that he does personally that's generating $1.2 billion in sales and you can't pay back the guys from that fucking crypto zoo shit. You can't pay them back. Just a gesture of goodwill. Just pay them back. Easy peasy. Nah, scumbag behavior. The brand has not reported sales information, but some signs point seem to point to the drop in demand. In the UK, the drink has been spotted on a sale at several vendors. Estimates for the Nielsen IQ for the UK sales in the first quarter of the year um, from the Euro Monitor and the US online sales of the first half. Just demand has fallen off considerably from last year. Yeah, it has. I've seen it myself. I've noticed way more shops, especially like a, a Tesco, even like a pound. I think I saw it like a, there's like a, we've got like, I guess it's a pound line. It's like a Dollar Tree. We've got like Dollar Tree type stores in the UK. And um, I even saw a bunch of prime energy drinks there for sale like a lot of them, like stacks and stacks and stacks. And before, you'd never find them. You'd only find them in like specialist shops that kind of imported like American sweets and shit. So yeah, it's definitely gone down a bit. I think the dispute with Refresco is ultimately linked to this um, sales forecast no longer aligning with the investment of production capacity that they made at the time, said Howard um, Telford. There is a big risk that this turns into a short-term viral fad unless the product itself can serve a real consumer need um the representative for paul declined to comment read about the major lawsuits facing prime in that in alphabetic order so yeah look all the look at all the lawsuits they have here castillo versus prime in 2023 elizabeth castillo a california resident filed a class lawsuit suit seeking five million dollars claiming that prime contained pfsa pfas known as forever chemicals that can use, cause health problems. The suit claims that Prime falsely advertised a product, hydration beverage, containing the health benefits for minerals and vitamins. Uh, Caesar Baccarella versus Prime. In this case, Caesar Baccarella, a Florida-based owner of the Lion Sports Supplement and apparel called Alpha Prime and protein brownies called Prime Bites, accuses Prime of trademark infringement. The lawsuit claims that the similar nature of the branding confused customers really wow um high-tech performance pharmaceuticals in this trademark filed in june high-tech performance uh, pharmaceuticals sorry a kentucky-based company accused prime hydration of unfair competition and infringement so many people are suing them and it's quite wild isn't it so yeah i'm wondering i'm wondering has logan paul pissed off the wrong people because i don't believe for one moment that the drinks 
industry has any morals or principles or scruples. They're not trying to stop Prime because it's it's gonna hurt the kids. It's gonna they don't give a fuck about the kids, bro. They sell kids like one million versions of fucking Coca Cola. Do you know what I mean? With literal kid children advertising it. They don't give a fuck about kids. So I don't think this is a you know, this is I don't think this is them trying to moral grandstand. But I wonder what is going on in the background. Like did did he piss off somebody? Did he like fuck some billionaire's daughter and not call her back or something and now he's like paying the price? He doesn't even know. Because it feels like they're trying to really go after him and prevent Prime really taking off. Because he's always wanting to be a billionaire, made that very obvious. And maybe those guys are like, you know what? You want to be a billionaire? You got to make it worth our time, bro. You got to make us millionaires too, you know, in the process. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's the case. Who freaking knows? Uh, <laughs>